DPS International Ghana has organized its annual science expo for students to display uh, their scientific prowess. There were dozens of student presentations on a wide range of topics at the event. They gathered at the DPS International Ghana premises for the 2023 Science Expo for students. The students were tasked to research, design and make a brief presentation of their projects to parents and other guests at the event. Brilliant ideas were on display, ranging from biology, chemistry, physics, environmental science, agriculture and mathematics, among others. It is the desire of the expo to help students lead the way in providing some ideas to solve some pertinent issues confronting the country. One of the major highlights of the science exhibition was a drone built for industrial application. The Jarvis II project had four students, Shriman Ja, Semeko Pibansa, Chris Amankwa, and Raj Takwani, build a drone with more than 20,000 resolution per minute to give 4K thrust with its 10-inch propeller compared to a conventional drone with only 100 to 200 RPM motors. The drone displays features including facial recognition and identification among others. What happens is that it reaches an altitude and then these four motors stop working and it switches to a plane. So basically it moves as a plane. So it stops moving as a drone and it switches to a plane. And everything is autonomous. A person doesn't have to do anything. You don't even need this. Some student produced a miniature dam and explained the concept behind the production of electricity using hydroelectric power. Others included biogas plants, offshore wind plants, and wind mills that are mounted on land. The director of DPSI, Mr. Mukesh Takwani, was impressed with the intelligence of the pupils and was hopeful that they will grow to become leaders and transform society. I think uh, the students and parents and the teacher uh, combination really worked out excellent way. We can really see that more than 600 plus exhibits, you know, they have been uh, done from pre-primary children till uh, senior level students. This is a very positive impact on the uh, children and the society as a whole because as we see that they are coming up with a different type of projects which are going to uh, help the society and the environment. I think that is the best thing. The district chief executive for Ningo Pram Pram, Mr. Al Latif Tete Amano, said the Science Expo sits well with government TVET policy. When you look at the government policy now, it's encouraging TVET, that's the practical aspects, and then engineering and science. So this is telling you that this particular school have taken direct towards the future of the implementation of government policies in which we are looking for. So Ningo Pram Pram per se is ready for industrialization whereby these children won't be jobless. Officials from DPSI Ghana say the expo has improved the skills of students in researching, public speaking, teamwork, leadership and patience.